19th century Italy, all important towns had their opera house, and it was an important social centre. Not only were its singers famous, so were the solo instrumentalists in the pit. They gave recitals, and, furthermore, they were expected to include music of their own in their programmes. Few, though, were gifted composers, so what better than to write fantasies on the tunes that they heard and played every day? Italy. Oliver Davis and I had discovered many of these fantasies when we were researching our LP, The Italian Clarinetist, in Milan, and I found some more in the library at Naples when I was on tour with the BBC Symphony Orchestra, notably two by Donato Lavreglio, whose brilliant Traviata fantasy we'd already recorded. Milan's famous virtuoso Ernesto Cavallini had of course written fantasies, as had the principal clarinetist in Bologna, Domenico Leverani. His were especially entertaining in the way that he parodied the singers of the period. Add to these the works of less well-known composers such as Giusto Dacci of Parma, well known to Verdi, and Filippo Fasanotti, who worked with the pianist Antonio Spadina, and there was more than enough material for a CD. <laughs> Written largely by virtuoso clarinetists who really knew the instrument, these operatic fantasies are remarkable showpieces. More than that, and in the absence of recordings, they give us a unique insight into styles of music-making in 19th century Italy. <laughs> ¶¶ 